Yeah, I heard you don't add molasses because it's a bacterial food, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So my soil, I've got more bacteria out there than than you. Because round up the bacterial oh, food, the right? Just, okay. When we moved in here, it was ah, weeds everywhere. Um, you'll see today, today that we don't have a lot of weeds anymore because we're converting it to more and more fungal. Every mm -hmm. month that we're putting this compost out there, we're getting up more fungal. So the weeds are, they're the stressed things. They're the unhappy things. They're the ones that are getting sick and getting wiped out by the garbage collectors that Mother Nature sends in whenever there's a stressed plant. So we don't use molasses okay. because we have too many bacteria. Too much. Almost mm -hmm. any time you want to... Uh, look at a soil where you've been tilling, where you've been using toxic chemicals, pesticides, inorganic fertilizers. They're all salts. They're all killing those good organisms. The only thing that's left is bacteria. So now what do you have to fix? What do you have to put in there? Well, not bacteria. So no molasses, please. And it's not that I hate molasses. It's not that I'm against molasses. It's that you have to understand. You must know what you're doing. So what kinds of foods do we want to put into that compost tea? We want to put fungal foods in. So we get that fungal component up and we start balancing things correctly for the plant that we want to grow. We want to get the protozoa back in there. Well, what do protozoa eat? Bacteria. So we do want the bacteria in that compost pile. We want to get them to grow a little bit. So maybe we want a food resource in that tea that's going to grow a few bacteria, the best best kind of bacteria so let's go for some bacillus let's go for a food that is going to grow a lot of the pseudomonads a lot of um, those bacteria that attack and consume the diseases the pests the problems or organisms very um, competitive um, under aerobic conditions so the things the kinds of things that we would go for would be humic acids but please make your humic acid from your own compost so all you would have to do is take, um, you know, like a cup or two of that compost and put it in cheesecloth and then simply passively run water. Don't shake, don't, no stirring, no nothing. Just let that water move through that compost and what comes out the other side, it has a soluble humic acid in that liquid. There's the humic acid that you want to use. It's what the fungi are just going to go crazy. They're going to have a grand old time with that. Um, grows a few bacteria. Another one is um, fish hydrolysate. But you have to be really careful about the companies making that fish hydrolysate because if they heat it in any way, the oils start to separate and all of the bacterial foods separate from the fungal foods. And of course then they're gonna skim off the oil because that's where all the, the dollars are in that fish is in the fish oil. Um, chondroitin from fish oil. $500 for an ounce. Yeah. Can they make some money? So why would they lie to you? Hmm. And call this fish hydrolysate when they've actually taken the oils off. So, gotta be careful. Um, there's a bunch of, of good um, places that make really good fish hydrolysate. You know, so um, in the south, in the northeast uh, nature's solution. Ah, I, I don't remember everybody. We just started using a um, fish hydrolysate that they are adding chitin and chitosan, which are foods to grow the best fungi, the most beneficial. And yesterday we just finished an experiment with a class that was here. We put that um, fish hydrolysate with the chitin and chitosan into our compost um, we used another amendment like that. We used a third amendment, all of which are supposed to grow your fungi really, really well. Yeah, right. The um, fish hydrolysate with the chitin and the chitosan was the only thing that grew beneficial fungi. The other two products were like, killed things. Killed your bacteria, Whoa. killed the fungi, killed the protozoa. So the product is... So it's anaerobic. It didn't, it didn't, dry thing, it didn't drive anything anaerobic. Huh. These something in those other two products actually killed organisms in the compost. Oh, so it didn't starve them, right? Right. Didn't feed them. That's for sure. Killed them wow. instead.